Hey guys, it's Roha here again, and I'm going to be doing another Witch Doctor video today. Uh, today we're going to be doing a Zombie Dogs build. Not Zombie Bear, Zombie Dogs today. Uh, a lot of you guys probably seen this build in action, and I'm going to uh, show you guys uh, my variation of it. If it's any different from uh, the rest out there, I don't know. Um, but uh, I've been messing around with it and having some fun. Um, I did have a bit of a budget, um, because the uh, Zombie uh, Dogs gear is very expensive, as you will see in the video. Um, so, I mean, it could be a lot better. This character could actually be a lot better, but I will go through MP10. Um, I know you guys, uh, some people have been complaining about me uh, on a lot of my videos. I don't use MP10, but that's just because I never farm MP10. It's not efficient enough for me, but uh, I'm going to go through some MP10 uh, elites today just to show you guys that uh, th these builds are effective at that level. Um, even zombie dogs which is like a really fun build and clearly effective as you'll see in this video although my DPS is very low um, so it, yeah, I do have to chop away at the elites uh, for quite a while but anyway I'll go into the uh, I'll go into the build real quick before I um, continue and uh, show you guys the montage by the way I, I put it together already it's pretty sick so uh, stick around for the montage after I go over the skills and stuff all right, guys. Now that I have it open, I'm gonna first. I'm gonna explain uh, the skills before I explain the gear. I usually do it the other way around, um, but this way uh, you're gonna understand why I'm using the certain gear pieces. Uh, the whole build is based around zombie dogs. Um, pretty much, well, there's a couple obviously skills you're gonna need with zombie dogs. Um, this is what it's based after. Is pretty much what you're gonna do is raise these zombie dogs, and you're gonna you're gonna blow them up using sacrifice. Um, you're also going to want to use Final Gift uh, because it's gonna, you're, there's a 15% chance you're going to leave behind a Health Globe. Health Globes are good, especially when you're going to be constantly blowing them up, so you're going to get lots of Health Globes. So you're going to need all the life you can get. Um, it's also going to help uh, Gruesome Beast uh, pump you right up. Uh, you're going to want to use it for the Master with the uh, Zombie Dogs. Um, it's going to be more he uh, health uh, regeneration here. So it's just insane. Uh, zombie Handler, you're going to get a fourth dog. This is also going to be very key as tribal rights. It's going to reduce the cooldown time of zombie, do zombie dogs. See, so running 45 seconds. Even the 25% uh, deduction is only going to bring it down like 11 uh, seconds. Um, so that's where your gear really comes into play here, and it makes this build work. But before I go into the gear real quick, I'll go over the other skills I chose. Uh, Big Bad Voodoo Dance. Uh, this helps clear those... Um, those uh, really tough elites in MP10 level. It's Soul Harvest, like I said in the, my previous video, it's a must have for uh, Witch Doctors. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Hex, I like to use it. A lot of people are like, what the fuck, who uses Hex? Um, I'm sure a lot of people are like, man, Hex is badass, because I'm one of those people, and I uh, I love it. Um, it's another one I use. I use, I constantly bring them up. Um, it's pretty much a lot of it survivability, but it also helps against the elites as um, people who are hexed, uh, they turn into a chicken, which is comical and amazing, um, and uh, they take a 10% additional damage, so uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, Gruesome Feasts, like I said, it's uh, it's another vital one here, um, and uh, did I go over a spear walk? Uh, it's, it's for speed, essentially, and survivability escapes those tight situations. I use it quite often, especially in MP10. Now I'm going to go over the gear. Uh, there are certain gear pieces uh, that are that contain a little skill, and it's uh, reduces cooldown of uh, summon zombie dogs uh, by X number of seconds. Um, you actually need a certain amount of seconds so that your cooldown seconds, your cooldown time for summon zombie dogs is at zero. So remember, you already have 25% taken off of 45 seconds. So that's I think 11 seconds off. So then you're going to subtract every piece of gear that has that skill, um, the number of seconds off, until you hit zero. So I have my helm is a is an easy nine. It, they're not very expensive. Uh, this is where you're gonna get a lot of the time is your offhand. As you see, I have 18 right there. Um, so uh, that's a huge chunk. You can get up to 20 on your offhand. Um, the rings you can get up to I believe six. Um, I actually found an SOJ uh, that had six. I sold it way back for like hundreds of millions of gold. I, I kind of wish I would have kept it now, but the skull grasp uh, also has this. Um, there's a few other things like the maras also has it. Anyway. I had it down right to zero. The rest of my gear uh, is pretty self-explanatory. You're probably wondering where the fuck is this uh, crit damage here. Uh, it's because I don't have any crit chance on my gear because I took it all off. It's all gone for this gear because I'm too poor right now to afford top gear of the line like this. Uh, plus the health globes. I showed these in the last video. Um, especially in this build, uh, you're going to be getting so many health globes. Increases golden health pickup is another sick one. So I have that on a lot of my gear. And uh, that's my gear. Um, and I'm going to go right into gameplay because I uh, pretty much um, described everything I, I can kind of go over right now. Uh, like I said, the basis of this is you're going to um, you're going to 
raise your dogs up and you're gonna blow them up. Enjoy the montage guys. Uh, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Also, uh, likes and comments are very appreciated. And you guys should check out my Facebook and Twitter. I know I hate saying that. Like, I feel like I'm fucking advertising. But uh, it's uh, the best way to get a hold of me. Um, even for you trolls who have been uh, trolling my videos pretty hard. But even those guys, I actually think that's funny when people troll me. So, uh, guys, hit me, trolls. Hit me up on fucking Twitter and shit. It's funnier. Uh, but, yeah, those are the best things. I'll, I'll leave the last links in the description. But enjoy this fucking sick montage. And turn your fucking speakers up. Cheers, guys.